Hello buddies, welcome to API testing using Postman interview question and answer set 3. In today's session, I will discuss third set of 25 real-time interview question and answer from API testing using Postman. So what are the different types by which user can see response body in the Postman? So whenever you are creating a collection, creating a folder, creating some request and clicking on the he uh, send buttons, right? You will be uh, able to see the response. So in Postman, a response body can be seen by three different types. The first one is pretty, second one is raw and third one is preview. Although all the three have their own importance and value in Postman, the most use is pretty as it shows the response code in different format and colors which is easy to read and analyze the response. It is just like any good text editor used for coding. What is payload in Postman? The payload of an API module is the body of user request and response message. It contains the data that user send to the server when they make an API request. User can send and receive payload in different format, for instance JSON, XML, HTML like that. What are the various variable scope provided by Postman? So Postman has the following variable scope like global variable, environment variable, local variable, collection variable and data variable. So global variable allow data access between different collection request and script they are available through the workspace throughout the workspace. Whereas environment variable allow user to tailor the request about different development environment. It can be local testing, test testing or the prod testing. Right? The local variables are temporary variables that are accessible only within the scope of the request script. They are either scoped to a single request or single collection depending on the requirement. These variables are not available after the completion of the test ex or test script execution. Collection variables are the variables which are scoped to be available for all the requests present in a collection. They are independent of the environment. Whereas data variables come from external JSON or CSV file for defining the data set required to run the collection in collection runner or newman. Which one will you prefer in a postman, a global variable or a local variable? In postman, if two variables have the same name, one being local and other global, then the higher priority is of the local variable it will override the global variable. Can global variable, can global scope variable have duplicate name in Postman? Since global variable are global, I without any environment, global variable cannot have duplicate names. Local variable can have the same name but in different environment. What are all the environment variable in Postman? A collection of key value pair is called an environment. Each name of the variable represent its key and referencing the name of the variable allow user to access its value. So it is a set of variable that differentiate among the requests such as user can have an environment for testing, one for development and other for production. User can change the value of the variable to pass the data between the request and the test. What is basic auth in Postman? In Postman, basic auth is an authorization technique provided for HTTP user agent like web browser to enter username and password. After entering the username and password, it get associated with the request. What are the various authorization methods provided by Postman? Postman provides the following API request authorization option like API key, OAuth 1.0, 2.0, BRI token, basic auth, digest auth, hawk authentication, AWS signature, NTLM authentication, advertise on Java point advertisement by ad recover. So these are the different authorization methods will be provided by the postman. What is digest auth in postman? The digest auth or digest authorization is one of the authorization technique provided by the postman. This technique lets the clients send the request pass to the API and get response from the server including a number that can be used only once a real value and 400, 0, 401 
unauthorized responses. After that, the client can send back an encrypted data array with both username and password and the data received from the server earlier. Now the server uses this data to generate an encrypted data string and compares this with what was sent for authenticating the request. How to authorize request in Postman? User can authorize the request from the authorization tab. When users select a request in Postman, then they can see the authorization tab. Select the type of authentication and provide the required detail to make a call to the authentication server. User can also authorize at collection level and use the authentication token in all requests under that collection. What do you understand by status code in uh, 201? So whenever you will be sending different responses right with the help of get, uh, with the help of put, patch, right, delete, post. So every time, right, uh, it does not matter whether it is URL correct, whether it is able to uh, write, uh, I mean, add the data in the database or not, every time it will provide some response. Postman will provide some response. So each and every response will have some description in the code, right? So the status code 201 means created when you have successfully created a resource using post or put request. It returns a link to the newly created resource using the location header. What is the meaning of status code 304? The status code 304 means not modified. It is used to minimize the network bandwidth usage in conditional gate requests. The response body should be empty. Headers should have a date and location, etc. What is the use of 301 status code in Postman? In Postman, the 301 status code is used to specify that the page has been permanently redirected from one website page to another. It tells the search engine that the old page is outdated and the search engine must index the new page URL. What does it mean by 400, right? What is the HTTP request code for a post request with incorrect parameter? So it will be 400 bad requests. Is an ideal response code for the request with incorrect parameter. What do you mean by the HTTP status code? REST API use HTTP status code to tell what exactly happened when the server processed the request. So grouping the HTTP status code will be in case it is starting with one, right? Hundred like hundred one like that. So it will be starting with one means informational, starting with two means success, example 202 is success, 201 is created, starting with 3, redirection, 302 will be temporary redirect, starting with 4, client error, like in case it's 400, like it will be bad request, 404 is not uh, found, 5, starting with 5, it will be server error, in case it's 500, so it will be internal server error, the type of status code you receive depends on the application user is interacting with, usually, a 4 starting with 4xx error means that user have done something wrong and starting with 5xx error means that something has gone wrong with the application user server user is interacting with. What are the most seen status code in Postman? Right? So you will be seeing a lot of things starting with 1, starting with 2, starting with 3, starting with 4, starting with 5. So uh, uh, the important ones is like 200, okay. Status code specifies that the request was correct, 201 created. Status code 201 specifies that the value wrapped with the request has been created in the database. Here it is obvious that request was correct. 204 no content. Status code 204 specifies that the request was correct and received but there is no content to send. It means there is no response to send to the client by the server. Whereas 400, 400 is nothing but the bad request. So status code 400 specifies a bad request. A bad request means that the syntax of the request was incorrect. It appears when user have sent the wrong parameter along with the request URL or in the request body. 401 is unauthor unauthorized request. Status code 401 specifies an unauthorized request. An unauthorized request is a request for which user are not authorized. This status code appears when user are not authorized to access the server or enter the wrong credential. 404 not found. Status code 404 signifi signifies that the server was connected but it could not find what was requested. It simply means request not found. This status code normally appears when user request to a page not available on the server. 
what are the two type of script available in the postman right user can write two type of script in postman one is test script one is the p request script what is p request script in postman a p request script is a script that runs before the execution of a request so script in the p request script tab for a request collection or folder user can carry out the pre processing such as setting variable values parameter header and the body data it will help for debugging code by logging the output in the console what is postman execution order for a single request in postman the script execution order for a single request looks like this a p request script associated with the request will execute before the request is sent then a test script associated with the request will execute after the request is sent what is postman monitor the postman monitor is used for managing collections collection are run till a particular time definite by the user postman monitor requires the consumer to be logged in monitor reports are communal by user over email on a monthly basis what is the need to monitor the collection in postman it is very important that api responses and the performance remain up to the mark throughout the day monitor can help user to schedule a collection of test runs to monitor the performance and the responses of their api even if user are not available or not handling them can user run monitor in postman without signing in no monitor cannot be run without signing in because monitor run user collection even if the system is shut down so user need a place to store the collection and let it run automatically user also need a place to store the report so that they can look at them when they are free this all needs to be saved into user postman account and hence they need to be signed in what is api documentation and how to document each function the api documentation is a complete accurate technical writing giving instruction on how <coughs> to effectively use and integrate with an api it is a compact reference manual that has all the information needed to work with the api how to document each function in the api document like first there are something you need to include like description it will a small description of what a function does then the syntax so syntax about the parameter of the code the sequence in which they occur required and optional element etc parameter functions parameter error message <coughs> syntax of error messages sample code small snippet of code related links related functions what are api documentation template that are commonly used there are several available api documentation template help to make the entire process simple and straight forward like swagger moir dot slate flat doc api blueprint rest doc web service api specification when writing api document what what must be considered like these are the following thing you need to consider while writing an api document like source of the content document plan or the sketch delivery layout information needed for every function in the document and automatic document creation program so that's all 25 interview question and answer from today's session thank you